In some of our products, we are also using Arduino Ethernet boards, not only the Arduino Mega, which is a larger Arduino board with a little more capacity. Um, the small boards are usually used where we um, are sort of short of space. We want the product to be really tiny. It looks like this. And the downside of the Arduino Ethernet is the fact that you have to install a special driver and use a special cable. It's not just a regular USB cable. So if you take a look closely at this guy, you see that the connection to the board itself is a small six pin uh, connector here on the back. It has a black wire coming in on the top here. It says black on the printed circuit board. This is very important that you um, connect this correctly. And then what else it has? It has the ethernet jack, of course. And then it has a small LED for L9. And we are going to use that in a moment. But um, if you look at the connection to the computer, you see something looking like a regular USB plug. But I suspect that it has a little chip hidden inside, an FTDI chip. And FTDI um, probably stands for something, but all that information is uh, something you can read more about on their website. And if you go to our wiki pages, you will find a link to how to program an Arduino Ethernet. You also find, if you scroll down a little bit, the link to the uh, FTDI chip driver website. Because after having installed the Arduino IDE, which is already done on my Windows 7 um, tablet here, you also need to install the FTDI driver. So, uh, and this shows you where, how the overview looks, but if you go to their website following this link, you find this table press this link to download the executable. You save the file and after saving the file you install it. So when the driver is installed and you know the COM port name, what you do is you start your Arduino IDE and in my case it's in this folder so I just start it up. And I am going to load an example sketch, the blink sketch, right there. And then I'll do a few things. First, I will check that I have selected Arduino Ethernet as my Arduino board. Then I will check that the serial port COM4, which is the one activated by the installation of the FTDI driver, is also selected. And when all this is in place, I can now click the upload, compile and upload button. So first it's compiling my sketch and then you'll see it's uploading my sketch and it should look something like this. Thank you. And now when we look at the board you can see that L9 is not blinking because we should have changed 13 for 9. On other Arduino boards the digital pin 13 is the one used for the blinking LED. On Arduino Ethernet, we are using digital pin 9. So this is the reason. Now, uh, I just changed it here. We try another upload. And now when we look at the board, you'll see the LED blinking right here. 